Good morning to all of you. In the last class we have discussed first order and second order high pass filter with its frequency response. We have solved few examples in order to understand the design of high pass filter. In today's class, we will focus on the design of first order band pass and band reject filter with its frequency response. We will also work out few examples in order to understand the design aspects of band pass and band reject filter. First, let us focus on band pass filter. The definition of band pass filter is a band pass filter as a pass band between two frequencies FH and FL such that the higher cutoff frequency must be greater than the lower cutoff frequency FL. Any input frequency outside the pass band will get attenuated. So the pass band between FH and FL is called as bandwidth of the filter and is denoted as BW. The expression for bandwidth is given by higher cutoff frequency minus the lower cutoff frequency. The frequency at the center of the pass band is called as center frequency which is denoted as FC and the gain is going to be maximum at the center frequency FC. The maximum gain is denoted as AFT which is called as total pass band gain. Now let us have a look at frequency response of band pass filter. The gain versus frequency response frequency is plotted in this graph. We can observe here there is a lower cutoff frequency FL, upper cutoff frequency or higher cutoff frequency FH. In between FL and FH there is a center frequency FC. The frequency from 0 to FL, the band of this frequency between 0 to FL is called as top band. So these frequencies are suppressed in the output. And again we have another stop band beyond higher cutoff frequency FH. The frequencies above FH are also suppressed. That's why it's called as stop band. However, the frequency, the band of frequency between FH and FL are passed without any attenuation. Therefore, this band is called as pass band. Within the pass band, we have a bandwidth BW which is measured by taking the difference between FH and FL. The gain is maximum at center frequency FC that is denoted as AFT. AFT as we said it is total gain of the filter. And if it decrease by 3 dB we can calculate the bandwidth of the filter which is equivalent to 0 0.707 times the total filter gain. Practically the center of frequency FC or center frequency FC may not be exactly at the center of the pass band. Hence the center frequency is called as resonant frequency. The gain at lower frequency and higher frequency is 0 0.707 times the total gain. Now let us see the types of band pass filter. Band pass filters can be classified into two types based on two parameters called as figure of merit or quality factor. So first band pass filter is wide band pass filter, the other one is narrow band pass filter. Now let us focus on wide band pass filter. For quality factor Q less than 10, Q is basically a number, if the value of Q is less than 10, such band pass filters are called as wide band pass filter. The wide band pass filter has got wider bandwidth or larger bandwidth that we can see from the frequency response. The gain versus the frequency plot for wide band pass filter is as shown here. Uh, we have stop band between 0 to FL and again one more stop band beyond higher cutoff frequency FH. There is a pass band between FH and FL and within this pass band we can measure the bandwidth which is difference of FH and FL. Also we can observe here from 0 as we keep increasing the frequency the gain keep increases the gain increases here and the rate at which the gain increases is plus 20 dB per decade. 
and again once we cross FH the gain decreases. Now we can see here the gain is decreasing at the rate of minus 20 dB per dK. Since it is first order bandpass filter therefore increase in gain at the frequency 0 to FL a decrease in gain beyond FH is plus or minus 20 decibel per dK. Once again, the maximum gain is denoted as AFT, it is a total filter gain. And if we reduce by 3 dB, we can calculate the bandwidth of the filter. So, this is about uh, wide bandpass filter. Now, let us have a look at uh, narrow bandpass filter. We have seen that for wide bandpass filter, Q will be less than 10. For narrow bandpass filter, the quality factor Q will be greater than 10. Any filter with quality factor greater than 10 is called as narrow bandpass filter. The reason why it is called narrow bandpass filter, the pass band in this type of filter is narrow, is very small. The bandwidth also is going to be very small. Higher the Q value, the pass band becomes narrower and the filter is going to be more selective. In the narrow bandpass filter, the gain peaks at the center frequency that you can easily observe through the uh, frequency response of narrow bandpass filter. Uh, we can make out here the, uh, the, the filter response is going to be narrow because it's very smaller bandwidth we have here. This is a gain versus uh, frequency plot. We have a stop band between 0 to FL and uh, again we have stop band beyond FH. Pass band exists between FH and FL. We can observe here the band which is going to be very small compared to the wide bandpass filter. Once again, we have higher cutoff, higher gain as EFT total filter gain. To calculate bandwidth, you need to use 0 0.707 times EFT. So that estimates the bandwidth which is FH minus F. This is a frequency response of narrow bandpass filter. So far, we have seen two types of uh, bandpass filter. One is wide bandpass filter which has got larger bandwidth. And other one is narrow band pass filter, which has got narrow uh, pass band, which is shown here. So now let us see the again. Uh, we have already discussed about this rule of rate. Once again, let us summarize it. For the frequency f less than f, gain rule of rate is going to be plus 20 dB per dB. For the input frequency greater than higher cutoff frequency, gain rule of is going to be minus 20 dB per dB. That's uh, gain rule of here is minus 20 dB per dB per frequency input frequency greater than FH for input frequency less than FL it is uh, the gain roll of is plus 20 dB per dK. For wide bandpass filter the center frequency can be calculated using this formula FC center frequency equals root of uh, FL times FH it is a product of lower frequency uh, times the higher frequency square root of that. Now let us see the relationship between quality factor and the bandwidth. The relationship between quality factor and the 3 dB bandwidth or generally the bandwidth is given by Q equals FC divided by bandwidth or this can be written as FC divided by FH minus F. Now let us see the uh, circuit implementation of wide bandpass filter. The wide bandpass filter can be realized simply by cascading two filters that we have already discussed one is high pass filter, the other one is low pass filter. We know that high pass filter passes high frequency signals, that is the signals of frequency above FL. Low pass filter is a filter that passes frequency up to FH. Beyond FH, this filter suppresses the frequencies. Combination of high pass filter and low pass filter is used in the design of wide band pass filter. If both high pass and low pass filters are of first order, the gain will be rolling off in both the stop bands at the rate of uh, plus or minus 20 dB per decade. And the wide band pass filter is named as first order wide band pass filter. If at all, high pass filter is second order, low pass filter is also second order, then the wide pass wide band pass filter that we are going to design is going to be second order. Once the filter is of second order, then the roll of rate will increase which is 
for the wide band pass filter of second order, the rule of thread is going to be plus or minus 40 dB per dQ. The circuit uh, implementation of uh, wide band pass filter is as shown here. As we have said already, it's a cascading connection of high pass, first order, high pass section with the first order, low pass section. So these two sections, although we have studied uh, separately, now cascading effect we are going to study in the wide band pass filter. So we can see in the first part, this is an high pass uh, filter section, first order. So input signal that needs to be uh, filtered, uh, here basically high pass filter combination, the RC section is used, the uh, high pass filter, it's a high pass filter combination, where resistance is uh, in parallel to that of uh, C capacitors, this forms the high pass filter. The signal is applied to the non-inverting terminal of an amp. It is an implicit uh, power supply here. Uh, since you know to adjust this potential reader to exactly uh, to the required frequency, we use 20 kilo ohm potentiometer, but required resistance is 15.9 kilo ohm. So the first, this is the first stage uh, where we use high pass filter. This is our section of high pass filter section. RF and R1 determines the gain in pass band. This output of this uh, high pass filter is fed to the input of low pass filter. Uh, we can see here in the low pass filter, the resistance and capacitance, what we have seen here, are interchanged. The resistance comes here and the capacitor goes uh, to the ground. So this combination forms a uh, low pass filter. The output of high pass filter is fed into the uh, input of uh, low pass filter. Again, the uh, gain determining components uh, are labeled as R1 dash to avoid the uh, confusion between the uh, gain components here, R1 and RF, we have denoted here as R1 dash and RF dash. And there's an optional load resistance here connected at the output here. So here, uh, these components are uh, uh, chosen uh, for the lower cutoff frequency or lower frequency as 200 hertz. And these components here, 0 0.01 microfarad and uh, uh, 20 kilo ohm part are used, potential meters are used for the higher cutoff frequency, 2 kilohertz. Okay. So let, let's see let's see the details of this. The figure what we have shown here shows the first order wide band pass filter, which is obtained by cascading first order high pass filter and low pass filter sections. Now we have seen the voltage gains individually. Now, to obtain the voltage gain of uh, uh, wide band pass filter, uh, we need to combine the gain expressions also. Let us see that how to combine the gain expression and obtain the uh, equivalent gain of uh, band pass filter. The voltage gain expression for the two sections, that is high pass filter section and low pass filter section, is given here for your convenience. So, V0 by V, the magnitude gain is equal to AF times divided by root of uh, 1 plus F by FH whole square. This is the uh, magnitude gain equation for first order low pass filter. Similarly, the magnitude gain, magnitude gain of uh, uh, first order high pass filter is given by AF times F divided by FL divided by root of 1 plus F by FL whole square. So this is the gain magnitude expression for high pass uh, filter. Now combining effect, uh, we will see the resulting equation uh, we can see that uh, uh, it's a multiplication of these two expressions. As the two circuits are in cascade, the overall gain of the wide band pass filter is a product of uh, two uh, magnitude uh, gains of the uh, low pass filter and high pass filter. So the net expression is given here. So V0 by V of uh, band pass filter is equal to AFT, AFT is the total uh, gain of the filter into F by FL. FL is the lower cutoff frequency. Uh, divided by square root of uh, uh, 1 plus F by FL uh, whole square. Uh, this is uh, for uh, higher cutoff frequency, higher order filter. For uh, the FL represents lower cutoff frequency. And for uh, lower cut, lower order, uh, uh, lower, low pass you know, filter, uh, the gain expression is 1 plus F by FH whole square. So total gain equation is as given here. AFT is called as total pass band gain. F is the input frequency in hertz. FL here represents the lower cutoff frequency, which is in hertz. FH is the higher cutoff frequency, which is in hertz. AFT is nothing but it is a total pass band gain, which is a product of uh, uh, individual uh, gains of uh, high pass filter and low pass filter. 
So K1 is gain of the I pass section, A2 represents the gain of low pass section. Now, so far we have discussed wide band pass filter. Now, let us focus on the uh, design of uh, narrow band pass filter. The narrow band pass filter uses only one APA. Uh, we have seen in the wide band pass filter, we, are, we were using two APAs, but in the narrow band pass filter, we use only uh, one APA. Uh, as again, it's the two uh, used in wide band pass filter. Uh, but uh, the narrow band pass filter uses uh, two feedback parts. Uh, this is a, a differentiating factor compared to the wide band pass filter. So therefore, this narrow band pass filter is also called as multiple feedback uh, filter. Uh, the APAP used here is in uh, inverting configuration. Okay. So due to the two feedback uh, parts that we are using in uh, a narrow band pass filter, so this narrow band pass filter is also called as multiple feedback filter. The circuit diagram for uh, uh, narrow band pass uh, filter is uh, as shown here. Uh, <coughs> uh, which is uh, which contains you know the two uh, feedback parts. Uh, one is uh, uh, the it's the, the feedback path is uh, formed by the R three, and uh, 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 the other one is uh, uh, capacitance C two. So these two forms the uh, multiple uh, uh, feedbacks, which is coming from output back to the input. So here the signal that needs uh, filtering is applied as uh, input to the uh, through the resistance and the capacitance is applied to the inverting uh, terminal of an op amp. So the op amp is used in uh, inverting mode. So there is a resistance here R3 which is called as uh, offset uh, compensating uh, resistances, resistance and uh, this uh, op amp as I showed it is already it's used in the uh, you know, inverting uh, configuration mode. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram of uh, narrow uh, band pass filter which, uh, which has got uh, uh, two feedback uh, paths. So figure shows the circuit diagram of uh, uh, narrow band pass uh, filter. Uh, up amp is used in uh, inverting configuration. Uh, the resistance R3 connected uh, to the non-inverting input terminal is called as offset uh, compensating uh, resistance. Uh, the important uh, parameters of this narrow band pass uh, filter are as follows. Uh, which is uh, uh, the FL, which is a lower cutoff uh, frequency, FH, which is a higher cutoff frequency, and the center frequency is uh, FC. Uh, the gain at the center frequency is denoted as uh, uh, F, and the quality factor is uh, Q. These are the various parameters which are important in the design of a narrow bandpass filter. Uh, the relationship between the various components of uh, a narrow bandpass filter is as shown here. Uh, for uh, simplifying the calculations uh, uh, in narrow band pass filter, we will assume uh, C1 capacitance and C2 both are equal to C. So therefore, the simplified equations uh, for each uh, uh, determining each components uh, are as uh, shown here. So R1 equals uh, Q times uh, Q divided by 2 pi of C times C into A. Uh, this expression equation is used to determine the uh, resistance R1. Similarly, to calculate uh, resistance R2, we can use this equation uh, defined by equation number 2, which is uh, Q divided by 2 pi of C into C into 2 Q square minus A. So, R3 can be estimated uh, uh, using this uh, equation. R3 equals Q divided by pi times F C into C. Uh, similarly, to calculate uh, uh, gain at uh, center frequency of C, uh, this formula can be used. Uh, AF equals R3 divided by 2 times R1. Uh, the gain uh, AF uh, must satisfy the following uh, condition. Uh, the AF should be less than uh, 2 times Q square. Q is nothing but its a quality factor. So, so if students need not derive all these uh, formulas that are shown here. Uh, just they need to memorize all these uh, equations. Now, to change the center frequency to uh, some other uh, center frequency of C, uh, we have a procedure uh, that need to be followed here. Uh, suppose if uh, FC is uh, uh, the original frequency, uh, the new frequency where we need to change uh, the new center frequency uh, that is uh, denoted as uh, F-C, uh, the new center frequency uh, can be achieved uh, by changing the resistance R2. Uh, the new value of resistance uh, say R2 dash uh, is uh, given by, is obtained by this equation R2 dash equals R2 which is the old uh, uh, resistance uh, value. Uh, that's multiplied by, by FC 
divided by f dash c whole square. So f c is the uh, original cutoff frequency, f dash c is the new center frequency. So using this equation, uh, we can use uh, uh, we can obtain the new value of resistance uh, that changes the uh, center frequency. Now let us work out uh, a few uh, examples here to understand the uh, design of uh, wide band pass filter and narrow band pass filter. In this example, uh, we need to design a wide band pass filter uh, with the lower uh, frequency as uh, 400 hertz and higher frequency as uh, 2 kilohertz with uh, pass band gain as 4. And we need to draw even the frequency response of the filter. Uh, also, we need to calculate the quality uh, factor of the filter. So, uh, let's uh, see that how to design the filter first. Since, uh, as we know, that wide band pass filter has got two sections. First one is uh, let us focus. Let us focus on the design of uh, uh, low pass filter. So, cutoff frequency FH uh, is very important in the low pass uh, filter design. FH is given as uh, 2 kilohertz. So, let us assume the capacitance value C dash uh, for low pass filter as uh, 0.01 uh, microfarad. Then we should assume capacitor values uh, less than 1 microfarad. So, uh, from uh, assuming this capacitor value, we can calculate uh, uh, the resistance value R dash using this uh, formula FH equals 1 by 2 pi R dash into C dash. Uh, this uh, 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 this helps us, you know, in calculating the value of uh, R dash. R dash equals uh, 1 divided by 2 pi times uh, FH is 2 kilohertz into C dash values of 0.01 uh, microfarad. This gives me the value of uh, R dash as 7.937 uh, kilo ohm. Now let us uh, see the design of a uh, uh, high pass filter. Uh, for high pass filter, the frequency, lower frequency, uh, cutoff frequency is given as 400 hertz. Let's assume capacitor value as uh, 0.05. Uh, microfarad. The reason for assuming this uh, C as uh, uh, 0.05 microfarad is because the similar example we have worked out uh, while uh, discussing uh, high pass filter and the low pass filter, the same values has been assumed even in the uh, design of uh, wide band pass filter. So, to understand the concept, we assume the uh, same capacitor values that were used in the high pass filter design. So, once again, let us use uh, the formula for FL uh, 1 by 2 pi RC. From this uh, uh, substituting uh, the frequency uh, the capacitor values R can be estimated. So R value is again it's found to be 7.95 uh, kilo ohm. So once we uh, complete the design we can go for calculation of uh, total uh, gain of the filter which is a product of A1 and A2 gain of uh, it's a gain of you know the high pass filter section and gain of low pass filter section. Since in our example it is given as uh, AFT is given as uh, 4 we can assume A1 and A2 as uh, 2. So that's a product and it becomes a total value becomes uh, 4. So A1 and A2 which are uh, gains of an individual uh, filter. So which is equal to 1 plus RF by R1 which is equal to 2. So here we can assume uh, uh, RF and R1 uh, values to be uh, as uh, 10 kilo ohm. Okay. So finally you know the uh, design circuit is as shown here uh, which is this first section is uh, high pass filter section. The uh, following will have a, a low pass filter section. So all values that we have designed uh, is uh, shown in this uh, circuit diagram. So input signal here is applied uh, to the uh, high pass you know, uh, filter section here uh, to the C and R component and uh, that's output of the high pass filter is fed to the uh, low pass filter section that's formed by R dash and C dash along with uh, the up and gain determining uh, resistances such as RF dash and C dash. Okay. So this is a circuit implementation of uh, wide band pass filter. Uh, to obtain the frequency response of uh, uh, wide band pass filter, we already know the combined or overall gain equation V0 by V in equals AFT into F by FL divided by root of 1 plus F by FL whole square into 1 plus F by FH whole square. Uh, we can substitute here uh, the values of uh, uh, <coughs> FL, FH uh, and AFT also. So the only variable uh, here is uh, V0 by V uh, that's uh, gain, magnitude gain uh, and uh, the input frequency F. Uh, now we can prepare a table uh, to plot the frequency response here. Uh, first column will be the uh, frequency that since it is a variable we can select frequency from 10 hertz all the way up to uh, 100 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz we can assume in this example. And the second column uh, we are going to show here the V0 by V that's uh, calculated using this equation, uh, this equation here. And uh, uh, <coughs> the same gain V0 by V can uh, should be expressed in uh, decibels uh, uh, so that you can uh, show the frequency response okay in the decibels because to compress large values 
we usually express in uh, decibels here. Uh, so, so for 10 hertz, you know, we can see that the value uh, gain, uh, magnitude gain is going to be minus 180 dB. And as we go for higher frequencies, uh, uh, higher frequency here, uh, you can see the gain keeps increasing. Uh, for some time, gain becomes constant and further it keeps uh, decreasing. So, we can observe here uh, the maximum gain is uh, occurs at uh, uh, 1 kilohertz, which is uh, 10.42 decibels. And when we increase the frequency beyond uh, 1k, that is uh, 2k, uh, it is decreasing here 8.86. And for 5k, we are getting as 3.41. And further, lastly, we have 10k, we are getting as minus 2.11. Uh, so, here this uh, table can be used in, uh, to show the um, frequency uh, response curve. The frequency response curve is uh, uh, as shown here. So, uh, let me uh, just so that you can see the full graph here. So, this is the frequency response of the, for the problem that we have taken here. This is gain we have plotted along uh, y axis. This is magnitude gain in uh, uh, decibels. So, x axis shows the uh, frequency. So, you can see here for the, this, we have started from 10 hertz and uh, all the way we have gone for you know, 10 kilohertz. Each and every, uh, uh, for each and every point, the uh, magnitude gain can be uh, located here. And uh, if you combine all these points, that makes, you know, uh, that gives us the frequency response here. The maximum gain is uh, going to be 10 dB, which is uh, A, which is called as AFT. And to calculate bandwidth, we need to down by 3 dB. Uh, that gives us the bandwidth here. In this case, the bandwidth is going to be FH minus FL, that is 2000 minus 400 hertz. That's going to be 1600 uh, hertz. So, FC center frequency can be calculated by taking the uh, product of uh, uh, this FL and uh, FH. Uh, root of FL and FH. Uh, so FL is found to be 400 hertz and FH is uh, uh, 2k. So therefore, uh, center frequency is 894.427 hertz. Uh, 894, which is close to uh, 1 kilohertz. So bandwidth also can be estimated uh, by taking the difference of higher cutoff frequency and the lower cutoff frequency. So that uh, comes to around 1600 hertz. Uh, so we have a quality factor calculation q is equal to fc by bandwidth since center frequency we have uh, estimated as 894.427 hertz uh, bandwidth is 1600 hertz so quality factor is found to be 0.559 so here we can see that the quality factor is less than uh, 10 therefore this uh, filter is going to be wide band pass filter uh, now let us uh, uh, take up another design of uh, narrow band pass filter with uh, uh, two feedback parts uh, that's given here. Uh, when they say uh, two feedback parts, that's uh, a narrow band pass filter. And the center frequency is given as uh, 1.5 kilohertz. Quality factor is uh, given as uh, 7, and AFT is going to be 50. Can you, you need not worry about the quality factor, but uh, we are asked here to design. Uh, although we have defined for the quality factor greater than uh, 10 as a narrow band pass filter. But in this problem, it is uh, specifically as given as quality factor as uh, 7 and he has asked uh, us to design a narrow band pass filter, uh, which is made up of two feedback components, feedback paths here. So, uh, and uh, for this quality factor and uh, uh, feedback gain of uh, 15, uh, he, he has asked us to calculate, uh, design the filter. And uh, one more thing is we have to calculate mu value of resistance in the circuit uh, for the change in center frequency to uh, 2 kilohertz here. Okay. Uh, let us see that uh, how to uh, design this filter. So here let us assume that uh, capacitor C1, C2 of uh, narrow band pass filter which is equal to C. Uh, let us assume that it is going to be 0.02, 0.2 uh, farad. Uh, we already discussed about these formulas. Using those formulas we can calculate R1. The formulas for narrow band pass filter can be used here. So R1 equals, if you use this formula, we get R1 as a 2.47 kilo uh, ohm. Similarly, R2 formula can be used to calculate the R2 value, which uh, we uh, get, uh, got the value of 4, uh, 447.4 ohms. R3 is, uh, uh, which is 74.27 kilo. Uh, so R2, uh, since he has uh, told to, uh, has given the problem to change the center frequency to 2 kilohertz. So the original frequency was 1.5 kilohertz. So this formula can be used here, R2 dash equals R2 into Fc divided by Fc dash whole square. Uh, using this uh, formula, uh, we can estimate the new value R2 dash, which is 
the design circuit is uh, given here uh, so this is for the uh, 1.5 uh, kilowatts as the center frequency so the r2 value is 447.4 kilo so you can see that uh, the this is uh, a multiple feedback circuit narrow band pass filter so all values that we have designed are, are uh, uh, shown here uh, this performs uh, narrow band pass uh, filtering here so for the new center frequency this r2 value has to be changed uh, to 251.66 ohm has to be used here so that changes the uh, center frequency to 2 kilohertz from 1.5 kilohertz uh, here uh, to further you know make you to understand this uh, filter design uh, uh, i expect you to work out uh, these two uh, problems as a homework uh, again we have uh, two problems here one with uh, for the wide band pass filter design other one uh, for the uh, narrow band pass filter design uh, solutions has been given here and i look forward you know from your side to work out these two uh, problems to become familiar with uh, wide band pass filter design and uh, uh, narrow band pass uh, filter design uh, in, in summary before uh, concluding uh, today's uh, class uh, let's uh, uh, summarize the details that we have discussed so far uh, we have introduced a band pass filter and various types of you know band pass filters uh, namely wide band pass filter and uh, narrow band pass filter uh, we have discussed uh, wide band pass filter is the one with the uh, quality factor less than 10 and narrow band pass filter is the one with uh, quality factor uh, uh, greater than 10 uh, we have discussed the uh, circuit implementation, uh, circuit realization of uh, uh, both uh, wide band pass filter and uh, uh, narrow band pass filter. Uh, we have worked out few examples also uh, to understand the concepts uh, we have discussed. So with this, uh, we have uh, come to an end of uh, uh, today's class. Uh, uh, next class, I uh, will be discussing on uh, band reject filter. That's uh, uh, analysis and the design aspects are most similar to the uh, band pass filter. So with that, uh, uh, I would like to conclude uh, today's uh, lecture. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching this uh, lecture.